I think it is tough uh, when you hook up with somebody in the workplace. I mean, it happens a lot. I think especially in, in uh, the legal technology field, right? Because it's boring. So you have to have sex. <laughs> interesting. There are certain things you do in life that are a permanent stain on your resume that puts you out of the pool for some of these higher paying firm jobs. Doing Docker interview and then trying to get an AMLA 100 firm job is kind of like doing porn and then trying to get your job back as a teacher. <laughs> I went back to my old firm uh, and got a job as a doc reviewer, which is pretty crazy if you think about it because I was a big law associate like at the top of the food chain and then I came in at the very bottom. It's sort of like going from being LeBron James, quitting your job as a basketball player, and then being this guy. <laughs> it's like, hey man, didn't you used to play here? Yeah, no, no, I'm not allowed to talk to the real basketball players. I'm just gonna <laughs> mop the floor. Uh, so, I'm sure a lot of you know because you have created the technology that has made Docker viewers suffer. But <laughs> I gotta tell you, if you're not aware of what it's like to be inside of a document review room, there are no windows, there is no circulation, there's like 20 people packed into half of this stage, half of the people are sick, but they're getting paid hourly, so they're not gonna leave, so they just infect everybody. It looks like the beginning of every Outbreak movie. It's so bad that sometimes, I see a toll booth operator, I look him in the eyes and I go, how did you get your own office? <laughs> I'm like, his dad must work here or something. There's no way. By the way, uh, document review isn't bad if you just have the mindset of you're just like, I'm a click monkey, I'm just gonna mail it in. But I have to just say, whoever figured out how to auto lock people off after they stop paying attention for 20 minutes, I hate you. <laughs> so now I actually work as a legal recruiter, which is kind of funny if you've ever seen my act, talking about how horrible the legal world is. I'm like, no, no, just for me. For you, you stay. You stay. <laughs> for me, no good. For you, great. Now that I am a uh, legal recruiter, I get a lot of people asking me for advice because uh, times are tough. And what do I do if I have a giant hole in my resume, just a five year gap. What do I say? How do I explain it? I go, you look that interviewer dead in the eyes and you go, I was in a coma. <laughs> but my wife read to me every single day from the ABA journal. So I am up on my case law. <laughs>